Hello everyone, happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Harry Potter review, and today's of which is on the Chamber of Secrets from 2002. So we'll start out with the instruction manual, of course, and have that interesting border that we've seen for most of the earlier sets, and of course, Lego logo, Harry Potter logo, and set number 4730, and picture of it opened up and about to spear the basilisk of course and on the back is a picture of out of all the sets coming together of which being next next throwback thursday all of them together which you'll see and for the pccd rom creator game and also interest picture of one of the features and some more of that and also quite small alternate build instructions archway of some kind of course oh, it's very interesting how this is and also how it comes together of course and then one of the last steps First of all, for now on to the minifig selection. So, so we have wished to have, have Harry and Ron, of course, who are just about similar as in most other sets with the Gryffindor outfits, but also Harry's future wife, uh, Ginny Weasley, of course. Also the same torso print, but, and of course, face print and hair piece exclusive to her, of course. And also get Tom Riddle, of which only appears to ever have it, well, we've ever had it, well, until recently in a DK book, but hopefully in the future, if time allows, he'll get to be in an actual set in the future, which I really hope he does, of course. And then lastly is Gildroy Lockhart, but who we never seen any other versions of until the 2020 Diagon Alley set, of course, and, but besides that, and his torso print, of which in this sand red color that we never see very often in LEGO, of course, and, and also in the case of, of Tom Riddle, is similar printing to that of the rest, but of course in Slytherin, similar to what early Draco Malfoy also had, of course, and, also, with Lockhart face print hair piece, same as from the Dueling Club set, and of course that was in green, and this one Sam red, of course. And also, of course, with all of these, do have classic starry capes, which oftentimes get a bit worn out after played with a lot. And also, no need to show the backs or anything, because. No back door sprint, no alternate faces, since they're older figures, of course. Also, with this set is, which the only exclusive, one of the only thing exclusive to it is Fox the Phoenix, that we've never seen another version of until in the uh, 2020 CMF series, of course. And also, although it does have a little more connections to him than the newer version does, like, you know, the stand, which does include include in the set, of course. And, of course, it does have, and like the newer version, a single reverse stud, of course, and also a few more connections to it. Like, of course, the tips of his tail does have actual bar connections to have a fig hold on to it, like in the movie. And also, also more. There's in the back, and but also nice detailing for the wings, of course. And of course, on his back is a single stud. Yeah, a single stud, and also another bar connection on the top of his head, which should be more like a, a crest, feather crest, or some look to it. But of course, the, but of course, did change a lot 
expect for the newer versions, of course. And also quite exciting that at the time of this video, there is now also the uh, brick build blocks, of course. Oh, it's very nice. So this one, which is truly a sign of the times, of course. And left next to which is the basilisk with quite unique build to it. Oh, it's kind of hard to balance, of course. Just put it there. Like, as you see, the tail of which, about the same as from the early dinosaur sets and other various creatures, of course, but the middle section, which is exclusive, same with the upper section. But, like, if you take this plate off and also it's two separate set pieces, of course. And, of course, a little postable there. And, of course, the head of which which is quite nicely molded with four studs on it and of course a couple others with yellow studs put onto it but also what I think they also could have done is probably include a couple of red studs well representing this the scene in the movie when Fox flies in and probably claws or pecks at it and blinding it of course and so now as you see the head mouth is opened up and has a stud in there of course and so now you're probably wondering why are the fangs silver well simply because since I got it used off brick link these pieces right here these daggers there came in silver that's why but in if you got it officially somewhere else they would be in glow in the dark and glow in the dark versions very expensive like 30 bucks for it so but I don't mind it being in this silver color, of course. But also, also, what I don't understand. Headpiece, quite rigid, but in the movie, it's more pointed, of course. But good thing that with the one in the new Chamber Secret set for this year, it does have a uh, pointed kind. But unlike with the dumb kind of dumb brick built version that came in the 2020 or 2018 Great Hall, of course. So, quite happy with that work, but at least they did try with this one, but I can forgive how this came around in the end. And now, what about? And now, on to the Chamber of Secrets itself. And this, which is the actual official arrangement of it. And I do kind of like how it came out, of course. And of course, how in the movie, it's all enclosed like that, of course. But although, you can, like, open it up and make a wide-range diara with it or whatever. But it also are fully detachable, like is on these single swivel bricks of course and also this upper section that is connected by a two by three brick now let's look at each section individually starting out with this section which, as you can see, is supposed to be girls' bathroom section with, of course, the classic sink piece from, like, Belleville or something. And, of course, do get plenty of tiles, although I think they should have been one-by-one one tiles representing checkerboard floors. But as for the other side, which get black snake piece, of course. And also one of the canopy pieces, like most of these earlier sets do. But also kind of a shame that you don't get Moaning Myrtle in this set, which would have been just extra great for that. But at least until, and of course, Moaning Myrtle never came in any sets. Well, until the 2020 CMF series, of course. And also this newer version of which also does, didn't. Of course, but whatever. And of course, the main feature is 
if you put a thing right on here and also press oh whoops place it there and then push on this and they drop right out so common trap door feature but oh actually quite nice that it does lead out to there of course it with that section and now on to this one section which as you can see which once you get a total of four in this set are these large uh one by six by two bricks which that have the snake sculpture or slytherin sculpture sculpted into them But of course, in the new version, they are actual pieces reused from Ninjago, of course. But, and of course, in the film, they are actual pieces, of course. And, and the main feature is, and also if you notice what this, of course, has these, with these blue pieces, that supposed to be like a water pathway, of course, it is. Press on them, and it's supposed to blow off. Well, if you pressed it hard enough. And of course, you get the common witch hat, probably representing the sorting hat, and translucent yellow spider, of course. And just press them in that to reset, of course. And also, up above are the common uh, crocodile top part, had these older style versions. But held on to those pieces, of course. But although kind of loosely, and also classic shield piece with another one of the snake uh, pieces on, or snake heads on it. And also, what you get three or two of in this set are these upper sections with the classic castle corridor piece and also cylinder cone pieces above on top. But of course, if you have the original Hogwarts Castle set, put onto those uh, jagged slopes there, of course. Yes, and also with each section, which do you have these uh, longer plates to there being like the main uh, uh, section hallway of it. Although I think they could have had some more of these uh, blue pieces on there representing the water around, of course. And of course this, these curved plates, which do make a section for the main entrance, but we'll, we'll see. And on to the other side of which, which does have a couple more snake pieces, acting as some bits of uh, Slytherin, of course, and also do get hit another one of those, but also another one which, but with some extra bricks onto it. And of course, same effect as Dumbledore's office is having translucent bricks representing stained glass, of course. And not much to it, just bricks stacked on bricks, like a lot of sets in early times did. You see, similar build to the other side of which, but as for this one's feature is, as you see, there's a, a cup there, of course. And if you press on it, and these two swing aside, like, did yet another snake, of course, and also the classic sword piece, but in this case, used as the sword of Gryffindor. Or, but although uh, in the film, Fox brings it to Harry, and then Harry used to spear the basilisk, of course. But of course, I understand it being like that just for some extra playability, of course. And on to the last bit of which, which is this interesting statue-like build. Well, the build of which done pretty goodly. And of course, a couple of those uh, hinge bricks. To, you know, hook on to other things. And of course, the middle of the main feature, which is get the basilisk and 
epic home run out of it, like the movie, of course. There's an also like the new 2021 version as well. And if I connect these together. Also, dimension is in the set. Also, this little book piece, which does come in a couple other sets as well, but of course represented as Tom Riddle's diary. Although, what they also could have included is another uh, knife piece, but in white or so, to represent what the kind of tooth that Harry uses to stab at it, of course. To the final verdict, of course. So overall, this I think a quite good, quite cool set for to the time of two thousand two. Like of course. Key sequence of this film, Chamber of Secrets, of course, and of course, still holding the title of Chamber of Secrets, like, you get plenty of good surprises of it, and of course, do get Fox the Phoenix, who is also a key part of the film, still one of my favorite characters of the, or creature characters of the film series, of course, and also, of who, and of course, the and of course, at this time, only way to ever get to, uh, Tom Riddle, of course. Which is kind of interesting. But also, of course, and also, since it had the girls' bathroom section, of course, and kind of disappointing that it didn't get Moaning Merle as well, but I, at least I can forgive this on how it came around, of course, how it came out, of course. And although, do you get plenty of good uh, sand green, of course, like all these sets, of which, and Basilisk, kind of alright of how it was, but also forgiven. And so now, if you still have this set from back in the day, well, I, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to this set, I'd say definitely get it. eBay Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.